He was there when the church started. He was there for 56 years. And he was there when it closed. And uh, I said, man, that must have been hard. He goes, well, it was. But it was really neat, too, to be able to give the things away that we had. Um, and I don't know if you were here that day in July three years ago when we had our worship in the park. A lot of the things we used that day came from that church. A lot of the things that they had, they gave away to other congregations. But what was really cool was that they, uh, when they closed, they sold their building for a lot of money. And they took that money and they gave it to all kinds of different organizations that had their same vision. And so through their death, if you will, they were able to bless a number of different organizations. They were able to give life to things like the Mission Endowment Fund. It gives us money. Resurrection. The end is not the end. The end gives life. In this life and in the next. It is a continual process because he is risen. And finally, because he is risen, he is with us always. He is with us always. Like, like the disciples who were walking on the road to Emmaus, Jesus shows up and walks with them. But they didn't re recognize him because they weren't expecting him. Jesus is with us all the time. But maybe we're not expecting him to be there so we don't realize he's there. So if we expect to see Jesus, that's what I, I didn't give up anything for Lent. My Lenten discipline was, I'm going to expect to see Jesus. And, and it's amazing the many different ways that I have seen Jesus over these 40 days. I, you know what I saw Jesus this morning, honestly? I was walking around back here uh, earlier this morning, and a bunny was bouncing across. And I thought, well, if that isn't, I've never seen a bunny here before. If that isn't Easter right there. Jesus is with us always. Always. And we need to know that. Because there are a lot of people in this world who are still stuck between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. There are a lot of times in our lives where we're stuck between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And the only things that we can see are death and doubt. We feel like it's hopeless. In those moments, we need to hear the good news of life and love. We need to hear the same three words that started us on our journey. We need to hear He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen.